everybody, it's Marcus here from the Side Hustle site and today I'm going to take you through kind of best practices and what you need to look out for when you're making new uploads uh, to Redbubble. So uh, as you probably know if you're watching this video, Redbubble is a print-on-demand platform where you upload your, your designs and if you make a sale you get paid uh, part, of the, uh, part of the profit uh, on that item. Uh, there's a few things you need to do to make sure uh, you know to kind of maximize your chance of getting sales when, when you're uploading items so um as you can see here we've got we started on the uh new uh, add new work upload page and just for example on this one i've used the uh, side hustle site logo which i've uh, just uploaded um so just starting i'm just going to run through each bit at a time um the first bit being uh, title so we're going to call this Side hustle site motivational alt logo. So you want to get your keyword uh, into the title, and most importantly, you want to get all your keywords into the tag section as well. So I mean, we've got the obvious ones like side hustle site. Put in that multi. National side gig make money. Uh, you, you really only actually need to put each uh, each word in once because Redbubble takes into account you don't need to put all different variations of each long word. But if you're struggling to think of tags, uh, there's a couple of things you can do uh, to find you know useful tags uh, for your listings. So the first one you can do is uh, obviously head over to uh, to Redbubble, uh, and just do a do a search for you know the related keywords to what you're uploading. So I've put side hustle in there. It's brought up 584 results, and what we can do is we can look at what tags some of the top uh, you know the top results. So this one here, so we've got a, yeah, it's hustle. Uh, this is one of the top results. So we we'll click on that. We can actually see what tags they're using. To get a bit of inspiration for our own upload, so here you have it um, side hustle uh, racer back tank top. So if you scroll right down to the bottom, as you can actually see here um, under all product tags, you can see what tags that this person's put in so side hustle hustle Gary V motivational quote entrepreneur inspired by the hustle hustle hard motivation work hard humor so these are basically all things that we could potentially use um, now ones that we could use on our listing so you know we could go back we could uh, add a few of them in so hustle hard put that motivation quote uh, yeah, you get the idea on that one. Another thing you can do is um, Merch Titans. I've actually got a free Redbubble tag generator um, which generates the top tags based on what you put in. So I mean, we can try side hustle, see if anything comes up. Let's search for side hustle, get tags. Got to uh, register on here. So you've just got to put your name and email address in to uh, get it to work. Just need to try that uh, again now that we're logged in. Search for side hustle, see if anything comes up. And um, just like I say, it should. Basically, you know, generate a list of the top Redbubble tags for best-selling products on Redbubble, um, which obviously should help your your listing get found. So let's see what tags it comes up with. There you go. So you can see we've got a quite long list of tags here. Um, so I think see that match. You know, we can copy. Copy some of the top tags. 
back to our listing. And uh, we can just paste them in there. So you can also add a, add a description in, uh, just along the same lines. Obviously, you, you know, add your keywords in there to describe your design. So I'm not going to do that now, but you, you can get the idea on that one. So first thing I want to point out is, as you can see here, side off site, it's automatically done it with a white background when it's uploaded it to all the different products. And one thing you can do is actually change the background colour for pretty much everything. So if we wanted, we could change that to uh, black or pretty much any other colour, but I'll just show you what it looks like when we change it to black. As you can see now, background colour is black and you can see a lot of it has changed. So we'll leave it on that now just so you can just to demonstrate. But so what I try and do with my listings is I generally try and get them um, you know, get the design on as many products as possible. But in order to do that, you've got to go through pretty much each one and just tweak it to make sure it's looking right and also make sure that it's enabled. So start with the standard print clothing. So the first thing you need to do on this one is you actually need to go in and just select what you want the standard uh, colour to be. So we'll go into that one here. Probably just move that design up a little bit. Center it horizontally, and we can have the standard background color to be black if we want. You know, we can also this is another important one. Most people might actually miss, but if you see this little almost like barely visible tab here, if you want your design to go on kids' clothing, it actually doesn't do it as standard. So you need to click that on there. Now, once you've done that. Apply changes. So that's now added that design to the kids' clothing as well. Uh, obviously, if there's anything adult related or swearing, violence, anything like that, do not add it to any uh, kids' options because um, you'll get in trouble. But we can do that same large print clothing, so we can go into this one as well and just change the uh, change the layout. So we'll just lift that up a little bit. Into horizontal there, change it to black. And you actually have to do it for each t shirt on this one. So try and change it to the different options. So for each of them three, you need to make sure you go in and change the, uh, the colour that you want and apply changes. So sleeveless tops, as you can see that's been disabled, you can enable that one. Just going to enable all these on here. Enable all these, you can go in and obviously tweak them uh, for your listings, which I would recommend. So, like this phone case, for example, obviously it's cut off part of the image, so we need to edit that. And we can go in there, we just want to make that a bit smaller, really. See that's not quite done it, just need to make that a little bit smaller. There you go. 
go. So you can see that fits now. My changes. So you basically just want to go through and you know enable all the products. Um, and not just enable them, but also check that your design is you know optimized for each uh, each product item. Um, you can see there. Enable and that to fair, you know the best way, how it needs to be optimized will vary from um, design to design depending on the shape and the size of your design. Um, well, I think I also think it's best to get you know you get your design on as many of these products as possible. Um, apparently, if you want to be in with a chance of Redbubble uh, actually featuring one of your designs, um, you need to have it enabled on virtually every single one of. Uh, the products for that design, uh, if you can do. Um, leggings is a difficult one if your design is not made for an all over print. But you can see here most of these, you know, there's, there's literally no reason why you shouldn't try and get them on as many products as possible because each one is a potential opportunity for you to sell that design. Um, so all you've got to do is any that is disabled, enable it, and like I say, also tweak and play around with you know the layout of the design uh, where necessary drawstring bags um, acrylic box so like I said I, I will literally go through and do every single one for virtually every design um, it maximizes the chance of sales and you know, increases your chances of selling something. I've sold all kinds of things on here: art boards, socks, notepads. You know, nearly everything on here I've sold on, on some of my designs. So uh, it really does make sense to get them on there. So that's pretty much it. So once you like, you can obviously submit at the bottom. Um, that's it today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're interested in uh, print on demand or just generally making money online, subscribe to the Side Hustle site YouTube channel. Uh, and also like this video if you found it useful. Okay, thanks. See you soon.